Hello everybody, happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thanksgiving day in the United States. The grocery store is very busy, people everywhere. And my visit to Houston, Texas is just fantastic. I want you to join me today as we discuss the church girl and romance. Don't miss out because you have a lot you can gain from this discussion. Now we're talking about Christian romance and I was wondering, um, is there a place for Christian romance, number one? And if you're someone like me that loves music, I like music, but when it comes to like playing romantic music, you know, how, how do you go about that? What kind of music can set the romantic vibe hmm? without going into the worldly songs? Wow. Well, don't, don't say gospel music, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are not trying to be churchy here. We say we romance. romance. Yeah. Uh, and, and you know where that is going. It, it has to do with affection. It yes. has to do with sexuality mm -hmm. when you are married. Okay? So, <laughs> for me, if I'm with my husband mm -hmm. and it's time for that kind of stuff, I mean, there are a lot of good music out there. Give me some uh, artists. For me... Mm -hmm. I just, my husband, for example, mm. love just the in instruments. Mm, instrumental. Uh, you know, he, he loved the soft, um, Jazz? you know, mm. no, the country. Mm. Mm. Uh, in particular, mm. myself, mm -hmm. uh, there are some of the music by Phil Collins, Phil Collins. that okay. I kind of enjoy, okay. you know. Yay. I mean, them play when. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and one of the reasons why I ask that is because I noticed that once I became a Christian, I didn't like the worldly music anymore. Right. But then when it was time to, you know, romance, when it's time to get romantic, I'm like, uh, I found myself going toward the worldly, some of the, not the it's really not raunchy one. Them. Yeah, it's but not all of like them you say, someone like Phil Collins, exactly. someone it's like Michael Smith. Yes. Uh -huh. Michael. So Michael Smith is actually a Christian. It's not, artist. it's not mm -hmm. like all the music. Again, when mm -hmm. we are in bed with our husband, it's mm -hmm. not, we are not trying to be in bed with the Holy Spirit. We, we are not trying to invite, no, we have to be very honest here. We, we are not trying to invite that, whole, you know what I mean. We want the Holy Spirit around, mm -hmm. but that kind of thing, because that kind, that, of fellowship. <laughs> that kind of fellowship at that moment, it's not what we're trying to do. So for that reason, you want to be very careful that you are not also inviting another music spirit that is another also. spirit mm -hmm. into right. the atmosphere. Right. Because music is all about oh. spirit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my romantic language is my husband cleaning the old place, you know, I mean, getting everywhere just all sparkly. That, you know, just makes me seem in a very beautiful, loving light, mm. you know, I mean. You could ask me anything after doing that and you know i would mm -hmm. give it mm -hmm. and you know just feel good and i think you know romantic language ties into love language Please. you know what are you thankful for we hope trump's gonna win <laughs> who trump the but president but it's too late for that no, it's not. <laughs> never too late never too late <laughs> <laughs> okay but what you are you all all thankful for this year we're hopeful that Trump will continue. Wow, what about you? I'm thankful for my friends. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, good. <laughs> we are back. Okay. When you were young, very, very young, before you gave your life to Christ, mm -hmm. have you ever stole a meat from your mom's pot? I did. I know you did not ask me. This why I just volunteered. I did. I did. But well, with we confession. I mean, how how old were you when that happened? And um, possibly four, mm. four five, somewhere between four and six. Mm. I would steal like coins. Mm. We had this little container on top of the TV in our living room at the time, and they sold this amazing lollipop. Outside my school gates. Oh, she wanted a lot of ten combo each. <laughs> Woo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so I would climb up on a stool to mm -hmm. get to the top of the TV and just pick some coins <laughs> so that I can buy lollipop in school oh. the next day. <laughs> what about yeah. you? What about you? Have you ever meet um I don't know about meat, but money, yes. Uh -uh, what is with money? 
<laughs> you people were. Yeah. Oh, did you did you get caught? Um, no, I didn't get caught. But did you later confess? Yes. Oh. After, I, after I gave my life for something, I told my my parents, and my dad actually laughed about it. You had to make your funny. restitution. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Is that what you are saying? Oh yes, meat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> mm. I ate meat a lot of times. Yes. Yeah, so my grandmother, I remember, she will, you know, the ice fish. They call it in Nigeria. Oh. It's, uh, the the microwave. The okay. fish, yeah. like oh, fried oh, fish or something. Well, like that. they actually they call it high fish. Mm. It's an ice Titus. fish, and they actually yes, Titus or well, <laughs> Titus is a company that made. But we, we all call it Titus. Yes, we all call it Titus. It's a brand. Yes, it's a brand. Yeah, it's a brand. Oh, so it it it's a macaroni. Macro. The fish name is macaroni. Macro. So True. this woman will actually um, roast it. Mm, we we'll roast it yes. and then mm, she would be hawking it and oh. my grandmother would buy from her and then cook the soup mm -hmm. so and then she would be hiding it mm. like <laughs> she would not give us meat she won't give us fish so whenever she goes to sleep i would just i, I was like probably by six seven eight years old mm. soup and i would go in there quest quest with my legs <laughs> and then i would i would just dip my hand into her bless her heart and I would take this fish. Then the next day, the the soup is foamy. It's having it's like foamy. She know, that's her evidence to that know somebody, that somebody has touched has, you. Yeah, somebody <laughs> put her in there. Oh, really? it's, it's, because it's spoiled. Yeah. Because so it don't our have, hands can spoil. They don't have refrigerator to yeah. reserve this thing. So she puts it in the pot there, in the clay pot. Mm -hmm. And when I gave my life to Christ, mm -hmm. uh, of course she's a Muslim. Mm -hmm. She doesn't mm -hmm. understand, understand why you that stuff. And she was so strictly age like she was very old like mm. 102 years old mm. wow. when she when she died and then i would try to explain to her uh what i did that i'm the one then she would she would turn the conversation into something because mm. she doesn't understand okay. and then before i knew it, she died and okay. you know i really prayed about it and my parents were very strict mm. <laughs> they would um did they count the meat there's 20 nobody <laughs> better touch <laughs> it yeah. If one is missing, we'll know. My mom will count the meat and we'll still all take care of it. <laughs> that didn't stop us, but you guys are saying it's on this table because I was like, ah, so nobody took meat from the food. Well, apart from her. <laughs> Me, I took meat too. I stole a chicken breast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did, and then I went to a dark room to eat it alone, and then I got scared of the dark. <laughs> It's funny because when you're in the midst of you eating not, it, no, when you're, you're in the midst of scared. eating it, it's now when my mom is like, Mama, Sarah, you cannot open your mouth and say yes because your mouth is full. So, for our singles, what are the qualities you want to see in your future husband? That like if you have to pray about something, like, God, please do this, or what would you mention to God? Well, this is long. Hey. <laughs> I know it's quite long. It's very long. You, you need to shrink that. Shrink it. Shrink it. Shrink it. So, so how many are we going with? How many things you want to say? Just one or two. One mm -hmm. or two. Yeah. Um, family oriented. Mm. So those are two things okay. I'll say. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I'll say emotionally intelligent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. Like you can observe my mood. You know, you are. You see me. You know. Mm -hmm. When I tell you that something is wrong and for a lot of men, wrong. baby, that is a long learning process for, for the emotional. Mm -hmm. For the emotional, because so women are like what they always say. It's not that we are complicated, but that we were wired differently. Mm -hmm. uh, men are not very emotional, so we when we get yeah, married, emotional intelligence is less than the less than, other. Yes. So yeah. we have why, to kind of bring mm -hmm. them which up is why to that. That's me. Exactly. This is why she said that's on me. This is what I love <laughs> too, and this yeah. is what I'm believing. And that's mm -hmm. not to say that if he's not where exactly. he is, no, I'm not going to cross him, no, out. him out. But yeah. if I was asking, if God asks me, exactly. for example, if I was, and I'll do this. Okay. And mm -hmm. I love a guy who is emotionally intelligent. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, how are you preparing yourself for your future husband? Wow. That's a that's a very <laughs> Because oh we, we always have this list, especially women. I want him to be this, to yeah. be this, to be this, to be this. <laughs> then the question is, but how are you preparing yourself so that you can also meet whoever he is, is. his own list? Hello, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, I guess in a nutshell, the things that I desire, the qualities I desire that he has, 
I also want to be able to give um, mm. because how can I put this now? Mm. Basically, so, you can't expect, let's say you want, you are like, oh, I want my husband to be a very honest person, mm -hmm. but you yourself have to make sure you're a very honest person. Yeah. I want my husband to be a very a loving good person. And so mm -hmm. I have to learn to communicate mm -hmm. right? yeah. instead of repressing stuff. Okay. And, you know, things like that. Okay. Um, and ultimately, we're trying to locate who I am in God first because there's no man on the face suffers of this planet that will complete me mm. and so it's in, i have come to understand that more also that i understand about my purpose and who god created me to be the better i'll understand about he whose purpose is com will complement mine mm. adequately mm. so wow. yeah. so it's, it's, it's sometimes it's like instead of a young girl so worried about who my husband is going to be when is he coming what would he look like <clears throat> would he have this would he, work on yourself mm get to know who you are you know figure out what you like so that when you see what you like you recognize when you see what you don't like you're like no don't just be all like oh looking out there have a, some kind of like inward like hey how is my character how what do i like what do i enjoy how am i grooming myself to be a good wife to uh, whoever my future husband is and i think girls need to kind of go on that level more instead of the him 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 what about you Finally, finally, I've said finally so many times. <laughs> I'm running out of finally. Um, okay, so we are going to the last end of our conversation and then eat our Thanksgiving meal. Don't forget to comment below, share this video, like and follow this page. Yes. Ah, this this food is getting cold though. Let's warm me. Okay, let's light her. Let's light it up. Uh, lighten the subject up a little bit. What is your favorite Thanksgiving uh, food item? Ooh. It doesn't have to be on this table. It's just like one of these things that you're like. Ah. I like I like stuffing. Stuffing. Mm, wow. Yes. Yeah, stuffing yeah, stuffing yeah, in alone or with stuffing in with turkey. Yes. Oh, and yeah. the gravy. And the goo. That's what I was going. With. <laughs> so because turkey gravy. They make stuff. the chicken sometimes it's a bit dry and so yeah. 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 Dressing. I can't yeah. wait to make me that. Oh, okay. Yes. I'm still getting acclimatized to after nine years. You know, <laughs> American Thanksgiving food. <laughs> Just mm. give me good old jollof rice. Nigerian jollof rice. Nigerian jollof rice. Give me good old Nigerian food. Let me see that it's the thing that I understand. <laughs> what about After nine years. After nine years. She, she'll come around. It's slow, but she'll come around. Love me, how about you? Juicy, succulent turkey. Hey, turkey. I like how you between, qualify between that. Between turkey and chicken, which one you like better? Ooh. Thanksgiving is all about turkey. I know, but like between, between turkey and chicken, like taste-wise. Taste-wise. Chicken, yeah, 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 because yeah. I yeah, noticed, like, like, hold on, like, the, the yeah. whole idea of turkey for Thanksgiving, depending on the part of the turkey, mm -hmm. I love the wings. <laughs> oh, yeah, the brown, the yeah. wings, they call it brown meat or something like that. Yeah, I don't know, the, yeah. no, the wings, like yeah, the wings, that's where mm -hmm. bold is now. <laughs> I love it, especially when you fry it. Wow. Oh, like, you fry first of all, <laughs> marinate it, and then you slowly. Fried rice. Wow. Soups and um, okay, what do you cook the best? So many bitter green cooks. Uh, what do you cook best? Just, Between uh, American food and uh, African food, which one is your uh, best uh, dish well, that when you, you know? Uh, wow. What, like what rice, is it? Fried rice is one of them. Hey, yes. Fried rice. Yes. 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 Wow. Next time. Next time. <laughs> what about you? Mm. Uh, it's a for real. I was going to say. Hey, for real. Oh, for real. Yeah. Wow, that's the soup, right? Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah. What about you? The you still yes. got everything. Because you... <laughs> no, maybe. No, maybe. No, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you Woo, I thought I didn't like beans until <laughs> I tasted the beans. Yeah. How do you learn, learn how to cook? Oh. You too. Uh, I don't I'm very similar to Osemene. Like, mm. I would be in the kitchen, but like... I feel like you're watching and you think you know how mm. to do it until you're now trying to try it by it. yourself. You really learn by doing it. Yes. Like, and you so find little tweaks. When, like, exactly. when you watch the three exactly. minute video, you're like, I, I know do how to that. do it. Exactly. And then when you're you, you put something on fire, go on, go on. You're like, 
<laughs> I'm trial and error. What do you have? Yeah, trial and error. Trial and error. It's, it's really so nice cool. nowadays that everything is on YouTube. Oh, yeah. yeah, you can yeah. learn if you really want Different. to. Different. Wow, thank you. Thank you. This was great. Wow, thank you. So, as we round up, we are going to pray for some of uh, some of the viewers that the mm. Lord will strengthen their faith. The Lord mm. will help you, whatever you are going through. We are praying that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Right. Yes. Every single day is a Thanksgiving. Yes. You know, right. every yes. single day that we are alive. You know, yes. we just uh, have this special day here in US, but. Yes. Know that every day that you wake up from sleep, it's the Lord has mm -hmm. made it. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. Yeah. So let's pray for our viewers <laughs> that the Lord will help them. Father Lord, we just thank you so much for this beautiful moment that we can all gather together and thank you and discuss and be real and be open, be yeah. honest. We don't take this for granted. Yes. We thank you for all our viewers that are watching us right now. Maybe people had questions, people have concerns, people have disappointments. Lord, we believe that everything happens for a reason yeah. Yeah. and nothing nothing takes you by surprise. Yeah. Yeah. And so we pray for every viewer right now, Lord, that uh, you would you would put a new song in their mouth. Amen. You would give them a reason to smile Amen. again. Amen. And most importantly, if anyone out there, you know, listening to you know our voices does not have a relationship with you, has not encountered you yet, uh, Holy Spirit, we pray that you draw them to the Father Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that they would experience the true love of God. Amen. You know, the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son Amen. that whosoever believes will not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. And we pray for that everlasting life for every and each and every one of us yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, keep us. And for those walking, those of you walking with the Lord, I pray the Lord keeps you. Amen. The Lord helps you. The Lord, you know, continues to watch over you. Amen. Uh, you would finish strong Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, praise yeah. God. Thank you so oh, much. I will see you see. next time. And we all want to say, Happy Thanksgiving! Woo, it's time to eat. It's time to eat. Yeah. Does anybody want more chicken? Yeah, it's